Hello everyone, welcome to the data analytics class. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to do the data reskilling in Python. Specifically, we are going to learn how to normalize data and how to standardize a data. Okay, first let's take a look at a specific data set and uh, let's uh, learn why the data reskilling is important. So take a look at this data. This data is about the bacteria. So it has three columns. It record the size, toxicity, and width. So if you take a look at all of these columns and those numbers, you will notice that the size is really small number, right? It is like one digit number. And if you take a look at the toxicity, it is a four digit number. It's like over thousand. And the width is a three digit number. So what is the problem when you build a machine learning model when you have a data set like this? The problem is if your machine learning model is data sensitive, it will driven by the toxicity and it ignore the size and the width influence. So if you want to handle this issue, you're going to do the data rescale so that all of these columns and all of these uh, numbers are, will be in the same page so that your machine learning model can better find the pattern in this data set. Okay, let me give you a two techniques to do the data rescaling. First one is the min max scale and it's sometimes it's called uh, the data normalization and it is a function listed in here so uh, given a certain list of number this uh, min max scale will resize your data that uh, to a fixed range zero to one okay so it is the original x minus the minimum of the value in the list and divided by the difference between the max and the minimum so let me give you an example suppose we have a list uh, 100 130 156 187 so if we want to do the min max scale based on this list we will uh, use this function so first we're gonna find the minimum. The minimum is 100 and the maximum is 187. So the uh, denominator will always be the 187 minus 100. And then you're gonna put original number in here minus the minimum. So based on this type of calculation, we're gonna map the data, uh, original data here to here. Right? This is a new data, this is a rescale data, and if you take a look at the new list, the scale of the list is from 0 to 1, so it will reduce the number of these values and to this uh, new scale of these numbers. Okay, and another technique to the data rescale is standardize. So standardization transform your data such that the resulting distribution has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So we, if we want to do such calculation, we're going to rely on this function. We, we're going to use the uh, original x minus the mean and divide it by the standard deviation. Okay, so in this case, the data is transformed to a standard normal distribution. And the one figure, uh, uh, one feature of the standard normal distribution is that you're going to have a zero as your mean and the standard deviation equal to one. Okay, so let me um, stop share the slides here and we will go to the collab to exercise how to do the data reskilling on a specific data set. Okay, this is a new uh, collab notebook. So I'm going to import a data set. Let's say we're going to import the student.csv. And I also list this data set in the link below. You can download and exercise with me. Okay, so now I have the data set uh, student.csv here, and we're going to import some libraries. First, we're going to import um, pandas to read the data. And we're going to uh, import uh, Seaboy as SNS because I want to visualize the 
uh, before and after we do the data rescaling. And if you do the uh, data visualization, you will find out after we do the data scaling, rescaling, no matter it is the standardized or the normalized, the entire distribution won't be changed. Okay. And another one is input matplot lib.pyplot splt and if you want to do the normalization and uh, uh, standard right you you're going to need two more packages one is from secular dot preprocessing import main max scalar okay and another one is uh, they are the same so i just uh, copy here and this is a standard scalar okay let's run this cell now it's going to read our data set then define data frame equal to pd dot read csv and we're going to uh, put student student.csv in here and let's take a look at the data set okay this data set is about student performance you can see we have some certain characteristics of the students like gender identity and then we have the math score reading score and the writing score so those scores are the numeric variables and what we're going to do is to uh, rescale some of these columns and then check whether the distribution of the entire data set has changed or not so let's first do this stuff we're gonna rescale rescale the math score uh, by min max skill okay uh, so we're going to work on the math score column, okay? And before that, we need to do we need, we need to define a scalar. We're going to do uh, define scalar zero one because we're going to define multiple scalars. Uh, in this video, we introduce two techniques, right? So this is our first scalar, and we're going to use min max. Uh, so if you type the min max, it will all already pops up so this is a min max scalar and then we're gonna uh, specify which column we're gonna uh, work on uh, for this data rescaling so we're gonna define columns to normalize so this is a variable that specify what is the column we, go, we are going to work upon and that is math score, right? So we're gonna define a list and put math score in here. And that means wherever we're gonna transform next, we're gonna do the math score because this is a column to normalize. Of course, if you want to do more columns, you just add the column names in this list. But so far, I'm gonna stay with uh, math score. Okay, now we're working on the entire data set to replace the math score 7296 to a value that range from zero to one. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm gonna use DF. This is our data frame. And then we're gonna put columns to normalize. Those are, th this is a, a target columns. And this will be scalar. 01 dot fit transform so we're going to use a fit transform to do the rescaling and then python will automatically to do the calculation for us and this is we're going to input we're going to put the original data set a data column and it will be or it will be this okay so it will update the original math score to a new rescale math score. Okay, and finally, we're going to uh, take a look at the data frame again, and let's see what happens.
Okay, now if you take a look at the previous data frame and the rescaled data frame, you will see that the math score originally it start with 7296 architecture, right? But when we do the min max scale using the uh, min max scalar and the phase transform uh, function, you will notice that the new math score will become this range, it's from a 0 to 1. Okay, now this is how we apply min max scale to a specific columns in a data set. Okay, next we're gonna do the standardizer. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. We're gonna uh, rescale. Rescale the uh, writing score using standardize technique. Okay, and then we're gonna, uh, it's very similar, we're gonna uh, first define a new scalar. Uh, sorry, I need to copy this one. And we're gonna change that to two. And this time we're gonna use standard, standard scalar. Yeah, the second one, okay? And then we're gonna define uh, columns to normalize. Uh, let's, um, let's use writing score. Uh, you, can, you can put another variable name, but I will put in here. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same stuff like the previous previously. So we're going to uh, DF, uh, the columns to normalize, scalar, but this one's two, right? A second scalar, fit transform, DF, columns to normalize. Okay, let's take a look at the data set by using head. Okay, now you can see that our writing score will be transformed into these numbers, and these numbers will be very small numbers, it's around one. Because if you take a look at the entire column, if you take if you calculate the mean of the entire column, you will find that it's close to really, really close to zero, and the standard deviation will be one. So this is how you transform the original writing score to this new rescaled writing score by using standardization. Okay, now we have a two, uh, we have a, we have a two uh, new columns. And let's take a look at the distribution. And if you want to take a look at the distribution, uh, Oh, I, I would I will run this first, okay? I will run this first, and uh, so right now the data DF is original data uh, data frame. So I'm gonna first take a look at the histo plot of the mass score. So data equal to DF and X equal to mass. Okay, so this is a distribution. Uh, you will see that the most, the majority of students range from uh, 60 to 80. It's around here. And let's rerun the cell in here. And now we have the new math score. So let's take a look at the new math score's distribution. Similarly, we can use SNS uh, hist plot data equal to df and x equal to math score. And uh, now it is based on these rescaled values. And if you take a look at the first one and the second one, the distribution is not changed. The only thing that changes it is a value of the math score. 
And similarly, if you run the same code to examine the writing score, it is the same. So basically, if you do the data reskilling, all the change is about the value, but did not change the distribution. So this is a benefit for your machine learning building because it reduces the number of the values so that it will be less sensitive to the uh, specific numbers or driven by super large or super small uh, number it will be put all of these values in the same page okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next one